Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Relationship Wednesdays and Happy New Year to you and your family. I hope your your resolutions. Yeah. What are those people Come you guys do? Me, I don't do those things yeah, for yeah, resolutions. resolutions. No, whatever you have planned out, I <laughs> hope you have the energy to take you all the way to December. Okay. Mm -hmm. So our topic today is um, why women in particular love men. No, married. get married to men they do not love. <laughs> yes. So we have a lot going on. We have Kathy here. She's a beautician. She's really beautiful. She got us. She's a hair tech. She's the face <laughs> tech. She's everything you need to be that glammed woman. And then we have our life coach here, Raymond, and my lovely co-host, Susan. And before we went on a break, uh, we were talking about this particular toolbox. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to know what's in it. But before we get back to that, um, so you want to tell me, yeah? These people who've been brought up, especially the men, they've been yep. brought up without that sort of empathy. Like when you say, w w what you said, uh, when they cry, when they were younger, there wasn't someone to come and cuddle them and tell them it's going to be okay, da da, you yeah. know. Or yeah. they cried and somebody told them, don't cry, you're yeah. a man. Yeah. If you cry, then you're not a man. Yeah. So you want to tell me, because you said you cannot uncondition them and you cannot start teaching a whole grown up who's known no empathy, how to be em empathetical or whatever. Yeah. Um, there is no place for them in marriage. Like there is no one who's going to get married to them or are they going to end up getting married to somebody who's copy and paste like who they are. Yeah, Two individuals really in the same house. I don't have any empathy. <laughs> you don't have empathy. Let's give yeah. birth to children. No empathy in this family. <laughs> Let's give birth to a whole society. No empathy. Is that how it goes down for them? Yeah, yeah. and I, I think that's where now the, the part of therapy comes in. Right. Because you find that uh, there is that awareness. Mm -hmm. Like right now, there is uh, there is awareness in this country of uh, the abusive family system mm -hmm. that you realize is also impacting in our society today. If you grew up in an abusive relationship, yeah. and we need also to bring it into this perspective, if you put somebody under fear for a whole night, mm -hmm. the chemical in their brain that is released, which is cortisol, makes them aggressive. So when they are hyper aroused. Oh when they are young, they never settled. So the calmness you're asking out of a cup, a cup of tea discussion, you can't handle it. Wow. Because the person has grow, grown up with a range and an emotional crisis inside. Mm -hmm. And I think we are seeing this in, um, in therapy when somebody now comes and you realize, so they have issues with their mother. So for them to deal with the issue of their mother's hatred, mm -hmm. which they are projecting to you, because they married their mother, who they can shape to f meet their needs, and some of these childhood needs, they cannot be met by you. They can't you can never be their marriage. mother. Mm. True. So if he married you and you realize he has a tendency to shape you like his mother, you need to ask, how is your mother? Do you have issues with your mother? Then you realize, he has issues with his mother, and his mother doesn't exist. So how does he deal oh with the issues? God. So he needs to see and talk with a therapist so that the therapist can help him understand some of this, we call the fusion, you know, the conflictual relationship. Mm -hmm. Because you realize somebody may be fused like, uh, and you know this, you are the heart of your dad or your mother. Mm -hmm. You are the walking heart of your mother or your dad. Right. So when you're hurting, they're hurting. But now it happens, there are people who are enmeshed that him and his mother are one. Mm -hmm. So his heart is ma his mother's heart. He was, never, he was never differentiated. So he can't think on his own, and you also can't think on your own. So this happened with fathers and daughters. They are usually not differentiated. So when you're thinking, you have to consult your dad. Mm -hmm. When your dad is also thinking, he also has to consult you. So you realize we need, when you bring all this to understand, and especially the children who are triangulated, Triaguration is where me and wife we fight. Yes. Then we bring our children in. in. The middle in of your so yeah. and you know when it comes to firstborn who are parentized, mm. you know some of the oh, yeah, firstborn who are made mm. parent. Mm. So they carry themselves as patrons mm. in the home. So now you marry a firstborn, mm. then you also a crisis of like you want mm. also to mother mm. or father mm. this young sibling. Yeah. So I think with that awareness, the person you're saying is there hope for this person? Any conflict crisis, and especially if you have the first date, mm -hmm. you see a range, breaking things, mm -hmm. shouting, and mm -hmm. you, fi you find I can't control this. You know, there is a way fear comes. Mm -hmm. in you feel threatened, mm -hmm. and you feel this person have lost their mind. Mm -hmm. Please don't argue and say, 
I'll put <laughs> sense into him. Yeah. You can't put sense into him when the animal Facts. in him mm. have risen. An up. elephant. Mm. Also, <laughs> 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 Raymond, here is the thing. That yeah. book I was talking about, mm. these are the things you guys should write about. In and this then before, book. Get, before you get married, make sure to read this and this books. I don't care if you're a reader or not, you can listen to those audible whatever, the audible podcast, mm. whatever. But you guys, life coaches, counselors, therapists. psychologists, <laughs> therapists, etc. <laughs> you all write a book, come write to the whole series, you I'll help you make it for free. Be really uh -huh. helpful. They need to have versions of the book that you can read in primary school and that you can read in high, high school. school. Because like a continuous about, series. We, we work so hard and we build up our career step by step by step and learning and understanding and, and we look back at our careers to see how we're going to go hey, forward. Yeah. We do not do that with romantic our relationships mental health at all. And we but think I, we're I, just going to... I think we miss opportunity. We miss opportunity to do that because of our values and uh, what we esteem as a society. As a society, yes. Because we need now, t like right now is the time we are now thinking, we need a child psychologist. Yeah. Mm. We are now talking, we need a marriage therapist. This yeah. is the time now we are thinking, mm. we need specialized people to handle what? Like why, why wouldn't our children be taught with a person holding a master's? Somebody who can understand the attachment issues, mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. and be able because to you can say from children when they are retrogressing and you can say this child was this one and especially now if you we need to deal with our um, the issue of gbv gender based violence yeah. in this country mm -hmm. they we have kept quiet all along we've been quiet but then the following day you'll realize hey, we are too violent mm. And There's uh, a time it was you, acceptable. Yeah, and you know yeah, now. You thought it was normal. Mm. For you, Kathy, you mm -hmm. talked about you have many friends who have grown to love their husbands. Yes. And they made a choice when time was up to get married to that person. Mm -hmm. Do you see any signs um, amongst your friends and yourself that that what decisions that they made because of what they experienced in their childhood? Mm. Like how you grew up with your parents? Yes, yes. Some of them is because they had uh, maybe an absent parent. So they are just looking for someone, someone to, to replace that. To replace mm. that. Uh, some of them probably they were in a, uh, an abusive relationship. Right. And so you're like, I, I'm not really looking for love. I'm just looking for someone who can understand me and uh, take care of me. You know. Mm. So there are a number of reasons why. But um, some of these friends I'm talking about, eh, you find um, as the years go by their friendship has, uh, you know, they've gelled in very well. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I think some of these relationships will work as long as there's a friendship. Yeah. Yes. Really? Yes. And then again, you, when you say uh, your friends, your friends all the time, yes. uh, there is this saying, mm -hmm. you know, you're the one who started the same thing. When, what was that thing she said? Where there's a will, there's a will. Yes, yes, yes. There's also another <laughs> saying. I know you break one. Birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> so are you also experiencing the same in your life? No, 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 no. Um, I'm not experiencing the same. Mm. I'm just talking from a point of, <laughs> I have a few people that I know. <laughs> yeah. But I also have uh, very many um, couple friends around me who, uh, you know, believe in love and fell in love and are together and are happy uh, so I think everybody has their journey we mm -hmm. are different your story is not my, my story yeah and uh, I think as long as people are happy and they find that happiness like he said friendship if you like if I meet him the example we're giving mm -hmm. and we become friends we are not necessarily like you know, so excited mm. at first, mm. but yeah. then the love grows. That's exactly what I was talking about because there are relationships that start on high. Yes. And then they go down and you guys are normal. You even get married. Yeah. Because you started with that spark. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So, and then uh, after a few, uh, a few years down the line, you're normal. Yeah. But you can start on a low and build. Sometimes most yes. of those that start with a spark, it's just gaslighting, honestly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, but there are those that last. Bad. But yeah. there are those that last. You have to see that. Yeah. yeah. You have yeah. believe you've been married. <laughs> yes, I've been married. So what advice would you give somebody, mm -hmm. like now, or somebody who maybe who's that at the beginning of the relationship, and maybe they're on that high, exactly. and they're making very critical decisions. Yes. What advice would you give them? Um... I started on a high, <laughs> and uh, we didn't last. You're talking about you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, we didn't last. 
<laughs> I thought it was, you know, a good a good thing we yeah. had going. It feels very good. It though, feels very thing. good. But um, I would advise people should take time because mm -hmm. I didn't take time. Right, okay. Yes. How long did take you take time. before? I was when, dating someone who was out of the country. Okay. So we met. He flew out after mm -hmm. uh, two weeks. We dated online. He okay. came back, engaged me, left again. Oh, yeah. Then he came back and we got married. So how many years so is this? So we didn't wow. get to know each other like At one all. on one. How one many on years one. is this? No, we just, uh, like we met uh, November. Uh-huh. Then we got left. married the following year, um, October. Okay, yes. but he was away a lot of that time. Except when he came back, you guys got engaged and he left again. Yeah, he left again. Now, when he came back, uh, we got uh, we met in November. He flew out. He came back in April, engaged me. Then he flew out again, came <laughs> back in uh, end of August. Now, the only time we got to spend time together is uh, end of August, let's say September. In October, we got married. So you were planning wow. the wedding. That was your I never <laughs> saw that. But later, no, after we, se we separated after like uh, three, four years. Okay. Uh, later is when I thought about it and I was like, uh, Who was Kathy, that? sit down and you know, yeah. I, I started, I had a mission with myself. <laughs> and I was like, how long did you date this guy? You yeah. know? So I think women should take time. Right. Mm. Not so much time, but um, invest in getting to know who this person mm -hmm. is. Yeah. Yes, because I don't think we got to know each other. Okay. I was so, you know, you One get month. shocks. Eh? Yeah. yeah. After like the first month, you're like, oh my goodness, this I don't even so know this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Dear Lord. But then mm. again, you spoke of um, people meeting up and having the highs, which I feel probably is normal. I mean, it's yeah. normal. when I meet it's you, very I'm very normal. excited. To I should be excited. Yeah, you know, you know if I'm mm. not, I'm the one of, oh, is he a serial yeah. killer? What's going to happen? <laughs> yeah. you know? But then again, um, Raymond, you could probably clarify this. Is the one of when men and women meet, the person who's likely to say, I love you first is the man. Yeah. In most instances, mm -hmm. it should yeah. be the man. So if you're a lady and you're the one who said it first, <laughs> red light. But again, why is that the case? I'm just curious yeah. why if a lady goes and asks me what would be the Honestly, the I, I would never be the first. I've read enough books and I know I'm not the one who's going to say it first. I think it, I comes, know why. From, I think it comes from the belief that we have of the man chasing. Mm -hmm. yes. So yes. it's the way we so are it's culturally. Yes. Yeah, yes. So it's a cultural it's construction. That, yeah. It's no. a cultural construction. Not necessarily, where, uh -huh. but because uh, th there's a certain article I read, mm -hmm. and he said, even chemically and uh, biologically, it's the man who necessarily says, I love you first. And it went ahead to explain all of it, but I think you'd explain it better. <laughs> okay, you know, uh, we have different viewpoints. I think that uh, that mm -hmm. would be a theory for me okay. because of this issue of. Um, when you talk of relationship, I'm talking from a Christian perspective yeah. where I would expect like you have dealt with your issues with God and my issues, you know the way you talk of like we want to be in a, in the same page right. that you are never a lesser. I'll talk of that women are also coheres with Christ. So I would expect a woman be in a space where you are gifted differently than me. Mm. True. You may be relational yeah. and I may be positionary. Mm. So that means our differences, it's not about the, the resources and also what you're putting into relationship. So when you're getting into relationship, you're not a lesser being. Yes. So that means if you're mm. the first one to connect, sometimes women can be able, because of the other side of um, the feeling and thinking, yeah. you may also get some instruction from up there, mm. like this is the guy I want. Mm -hmm. You may find yourself like you are connecting faster that this is a person I was meant to marry. Mm. Yeah. Because of the, those two sides, the feeling and thinking, mm. you can be better off. The other time I talked about the men emotionally being underdeveloped and logically they are waiting for that. We talk of the men full of boxes. And yes. when that box opens mm. and another one is not, <laughs> then you realize sometimes men may be slow mm. because they are think, seeing it as a project. Because it's a project I'm going to be in for longer. Mm. So if they are seeing that, they may be slow mm. to, to make a decision. Mm. And that's why I'm saying some of these uh, theories may not be as per individually. Yes. Because yes. as an individual, you need also to say, mm. I want to have a character of my life the character of event of my life such that you say like at a particular time i want to have achieved this so then you can't be in love alone 
you need to have mm -hmm. to be in love with an object of your love. Mm. True. Because there are people who have fallen in love with love idea because of the Adriches book that we read, mm -hmm. and you are romantically and romantic observed those true. True. Yeah. So when you are young, you grow dreaming of a married <laughs> life <laughs> ever after. You know, those things you have, yes. they're just illusion. Yeah. yeah. You need to be practical to know mm -hmm. who am I marrying. So when you're asking like the list, uh -huh. no list, no the list. manual, no manual, yes. is the only marriage, the only thing you get certificate and you don't have an experience. Yes. So the issue <laughs> is we need Facts. to be now conscious to know mm. that if you're to engage somebody, that engagement, talking about the spark, the spark can be maintained. Because you're talking about romance, how can you be in a relationship and there is no passion? Mm -hmm. So you are committed to a project with no passion. Yeah. So we need to, to learn how to connect and relate with each other, such that when you talk of you are, in, you are dating someone, you are the one making the first move. You may make the first move, mm -hmm. there is no crisis. Mm. The rest don't have like us. The rest mm -hmm. are like, if I see you, hi, are you coming? And then you share contact. But now because a boy child is built with confidence, yeah. he's the one to chase. Is the way we have talked, like this an animal chasing another. And in the chasing, sometimes when they are tortured, if you torture a dog, it may not have the confidence to chase. Mm. So you need to ask, is this guy tortured? That's why he's not chasing me. Mm. And that's now we're talking of empowering each other. Mm. We need to empower each other so that when you talk of, I love you, what do you mean by that I love you? Mm. The commitment are showing what? Are you, are you committed to me? Because the relationship is about taking care of each other's needs. Yeah. Not, not devaluing me, not defrauding me. Mm -hmm. So if there is no honesty, if there is no truthfulness, then there's no relationship. why are you in it? Yeah. Yeah, because there are, there are those things you say, even yeah. in friendship. Mm -hmm. Why is it that we are loyal to each other and we have those friendship boundaries when it comes to friendship? Yeah. But when it comes to marriage, you just cruise your eyes and you d jump there bright That's so true. And that you no longer care mm. those things that you valued. Because yeah. if somebody has come to your life, you talked about the tool where we used to shape each oh, other to fit. Mm -hmm. You see, you have to fit the other person. You're molding the other person mm. to fit the one you want. Yeah. As if they don't have a say. Mm. As if they will not grow to that level mm. they can express their mm. mind. So most ladies keep hold back who they are because you want this man to, to treat you because they are the one who asked you. So you, you mm. come in relationship mm. Mm -hmm. knowing I have nothing I'm bringing. You oh, know, yeah, mm -hmm. so he's the one guy sense. dating you, now he's making you to be part of him. But, but you remember see, you are uh, bringing resources. Yeah, you have your own You are also story co partner. Your That's so true. you're not coming in this relationship to be, to be to taken be a like a house, a house held to be manipulated. Yeah. No, you're coming as a CEO mm -hmm. of this thing we are doing together. So that means you have brain, you think, mm. you express yourself. Mm -hmm. So can we ex make that space of like, my lady can say, I don't want this. And I should take it that they don't Respect want. Yeah. So why should I drown them, my values to them? Right. So, and that's where now the checklist, what are his values? Mm. What are your values? What are your interests? What are his interests? So by that, you may realize the person values me. Mm. The person yeah. respects what mm. I do. Mm. But you see, in the most of the relationship, women, I'm not sure they're able to, to put their life and get their deal. I think also that comes a little bit um, from upbringing, and we can talk about it later, but there's a lot of things we're told when we're growing up about how we should behave with men or how you're supposed to yes. present yourself. <laughs> and I think that stuff is in your head. Even if you go through what education mm. and how self-empowered you are, yeah. it takes a lot of breaking down, which I guess is also the same thing know, for the therapy worst, for And you know the worst what it does? If you grew up with, um, with a very oppressive person yeah. as your significant other, you lose your inner ability to fight or fright. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. somebody can abuse you mm -hmm. and you're not, and you're you're not seeing it as a problem mm -hmm. you're just because you run wow. at what you call landed helplessness. Mm -hmm. yeah. You grew running mm -hmm. like I'm supposed to be treated this like a cabbage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So even when you're treated here, you it's just say this is how to express love. Yeah. And but even again, in some community who say, 
that if you're not beaten, you're not. Yeah. 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 No, speaking oh. of those community <laughs> things and what Susan just said, how we've been brought up uh, knowing, there is this thing that as a lot of life coaches have written about, and maybe it's just another thesis or another theory. But Kathy, do you think women and uh, men love differently? And if that's the case, do you feel like it's just how the society has decided this is how men love and this is how women love and it's totally different? Mm, I don't think men and women love differently. Mm -hmm. But I think, like you said, it's the upbringing that affects, that makes uh, some people hard and some people can be empathetic. So I think uh, everyone can love the same. Really? That's what I think. But then there is also um, these theories that say when, as much as sometimes men will end up saying, I love you first because of the whole chasing thing. And then there is now this other theory that says women in relationships, after you guys have decided, yeah, we are dating, da, 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 women are the ones who say, I love you more every now and then. But then for men, it's the one of, it's sort of like you have to remind them to say, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, if you don't, I'm if dead. you don't, they're likely to say it probably thrice a year. Yeah. Yeah, we, <laughs> that, you're mingi. <laughs> you're <turning mingi. laughs> You see, that, that's a point you are now trying to, I think for me, I'll go for needs. Mm. Mm. Because when you meet my needs, how do I, <clears throat> how do I code, code my need? Because we, do there, there's somebody who have written about love language. Yeah. We talk about mm. those who touch, mm. those who yes. give, those Words who of affirmation they you want know, to hear. Mm. You know those things. Mm -hmm. This guy you are talking about, when was he told that information? Do you know a lot of guys don't even know what love, love languages, languages are? are? Exactly. Yes, now mm. you, you talk about there is a gap. Mm. Yes. So this is a guy who doesn't even attend the church to hear that. True. This is also yeah. the guy who doesn't even attend the funeral near to be told these things. Right. You know, this guy who need to be to be communicated, this information to be aware. To understand. It's nowhere brought in this position because he's out there in the field mm -hmm. working out to bring. Mm. So the person you're talking about come home frustrated mm -hmm. with the world pushing him to achieve and be this. So, and that's why as men, we need to have those kamukunjis, those meeting, mm -hmm. so that we can allow ladies to talk to us. Because one of the problem with these books that we read, mm -hmm you find ladies writing on how men loves. Uh, yeah. We need to let men say <laughs> yes. how uh, they love. Yeah. <laughs> because true. I find mm. that, that somebody may be giving those theories and say, I don't know how to love. I don't communicate love. But you see, I communicate you with the task. Because for Through me, the way that for me to love mm. is to care for you. How do I care? Mm -hmm. If I give you fear, for me, I think, I have sent her like a, a, a message. A message. Yeah. But you see now, the guy you're talking about, he feel hassled over like <coughs> low months without finance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, when he attach finances mm. with love, yeah. and maybe the finances are not there, mm. the guy may shy away from those things you're asking. Right. But if we can accommodate each other by teaching each other, when you say thank you, I also say welcome. Yeah. Mm. But you realize the guy says thank you, the dad never said, but also the thank you is like, what are you expecting? When what he are? treats you well, mm. <coughs> behind there is something mm, the guy wants. <coughs> so it seems like it's a manipulative way. Because yeah. we have lived in a manipulative system. Right. And the very first thing, how did we get into each other? Because if I came to find my mother and my, my vision for what I wanted is not what you have. Mm -hmm. So if you have different in, in this different, the shared meaning. You know, like you have to have a shared meaning of what do you want, both yeah. of you. Yeah. Mm. So that means if he doesn't have the picture you have, you always be doing this trial and error. Mm. I love you the way I think. But you need to tell me, I don't love flowers. Yeah, I don't so love that person. Person. But yeah, you see, how true. do ladies show men's <coughs> love? You start in the church and you say, this is my guy. And the guy is like, this confidence, how can I handle it? Mm. I've now gained attraction for all. But you see, as a lady, you want to be affirmed and that, validated that in that congregation mm. so that the other people can know you are also married. Yes. Mm. But you see, this thing, we keep praying them in the wrong places. Yes. Mm. So for we need to talk with each other. Yeah. 
for your marriage, looking back now, mm -hmm. um, the way it happened so quickly for the two of you, was it a, did it come from a point of pressure, a point of what insecurity, or it was just a thing of being on a high? I think it was a need. Okay. Um, yeah. Because when I look back, I think um, I wanted, uh, I think he met an emotional need at that point in time that I needed. For me, okay. I think it was emotional. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Because I, I looked back and I, I evaluated everything and uh, I just came to realize because you see the love languages, my love language is words of affirmation. Okay. And I think that was met. Because uh, <laughs> I value words. I value, met, you know, yes. like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I value words. Like when you tell me I love you, I care about you, words. I yes. think I carry words really uh, they're waiting for me yeah. and that's who i am yeah mm -hmm. so i think that is what he met at that particular time right yes so right. now um after getting married and after ending this marriage mm -hmm. what's one thing that maybe you'd be like oh looking in the future i'm going to be a little bit more careful with this and this and this just so i don't end up in the same cycle um I saw signs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to Every, talk much. No, everyone, everyone usually says they see signs on this show. But then we way, ignore them. It comes up we all ignore the time. Them. Ignore them. Yeah. I'd advise ladies, please don't ignore those red flags. Yeah. I saw the signs. I may not like speak because I don't want to embarrass anybody. <laughs> yeah. We had what we had and it's gone. Yeah. But um, we should be very careful. When you see like uh, something that you don't th that quest that you question in your mind right it's not don't ignore it it won't go away yeah. it's not going to get yeah. better i, I love because you love feel like mm -hmm. um i'll support him he'll get better in this area uh, yeah, no, you know i'll be it's there for him no it doesn't get it's it actually gets worse right okay. yeah. Catherine, mm. where do we find you on social media and where can people get your services for their hair and beauty uh i have a page called kathy's yeah. wigs mm -hmm. I also have a page uh, called Kathy and Jerry. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, on mostly on, on Facebook. Uh -huh. Instagram, um, I'm still, you know, I'm creating something because um, I'm doing this uh, wigs, mm -hmm. like what I'm wearing, I've, I've done is, it. Really really nice. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah, so that is the project I've started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called Vazi Wigs. Vazi Wigs. Yeah, so I'll, I'll post it up and, you know, it, uh, it will start running, like right. from next year, yes. Amazing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. And Raymond, how can people get your life coach services? <laughs> yeah, on Facebook, I'm mm -hmm. Councillor Raymond Moura. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And on, I have a page, Silverline Balm Counseling Services. Okay. And you get me there on Twitter, I'm Ray Moura. That's my Twitter handle. Okay. okay. So, yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. We'll be taking a short break, but right after the break, we're going to come back with a little bit of trending topics and keeping it real. Stay tuned.